Hey everyone, this is Josh Spaulding. I'm Jonathan's affiliate manager and also his JV partner with AccuRank Tracker and Keyword Canine. And in this short video, I'm going to go over how to uh, basically figure out your exact ranking in Google. Um, and hopefully, it'll clear up some confusion on how Google returns their search results because there seems to be a lot of confusion there and in the internet marketing space in general. So, hopefully, this helps clear up some confusion. So, there are a couple things to understand whenever you want, whenever you're doing a you know Google, Google search, trying to figure out where your website ranks for any specific keyword. Um, so there are two main things. Number one, you want to make sure you have a completely clear browser, um, and that means not being logged into a Google account, clearing your cache, your history, your cookies, everything. So you have a 100% clear um, browser because Google will look to see if you're logged into a Google account, and they may, um, and they do, um, tailor search results based off of your history and cookies. So you want to make sure that's all cleared. If you, if that's not all cleared, you could very well be seeing a different ranking. I, I remember not long ago, I was so excited <laughs> most of the day that this new website um, for for an offline internet marketing business that I was running um, had already reached number one for Indianapolis SEO, and I was just so excited. And I was telling my partner, my business partner, about it. And then he was looking, and he's like, "Man, it, you know, it's not, it's not ranking there for me." <laughs> I said, "No, it's got to be." But then I realized, uh, you know, I was logged into my Google account, and I had visited the website, and it was showing number one for me, but it wasn't at all. It was somewhere like number 34 or something. So that's a big one right there. You want to make sure your browser is cleared. And let me show you how to a quick way to do that. I'm not going to show you how to clear your history and cookies. Um, that's fairly self-explanatory as far as just computer users if you don't know how to use that you can google uh, or you don't know how to do that you can google it and figure it out it's pretty easy it's dependent on the browser so if you're using chrome you need to google you know clear history whatever with chrome if you use Internet Explorer, then do that. But I'm not going to go into that um, because a lot of people don't even like to do that. I know I don't. I like to keep my history and everything, um, my passwords, all that stuff. So if you have Chrome, you can do something else. You can click right here in the top corner and you can click New Incognito Window. And this basically bypasses your cookies and history and everything. So if you do that, and I think Firefox has something called like private browsing and Internet Explorer might too. Um, and it's basically the same thing. It just basically bypasses your history and everything so that's the quickest and easiest way to, to bypass the browser issue right there so just understand that you need to have it all cleared your history cookies everything don't be logged into a Google account when you do your searches um, in Google to find your ranking so that's the first thing you need to understand second and this is the bigger one is that Google tailors their search results based off of your location so if you go to Google and we'll go ahead and go there and you do a search let's say you have a website targeting dog training tips if you I'm in the Indianapolis area I'm in New Palestine Indiana southeast of Indianapolis and if I do this search um, this is what I get and you can even pause the video if you like and you can look and see what you get and if you're nowhere close to where I'm at you're most likely going to see completely different results than what I'm seeing here. It might not be completely different, but it will most likely be different. The closer you are to me, the closer the results will probably be, um, and vice versa. So um, th the results are drastically can be drastically different. Now, that doesn't mean it's always going to be drastically different. Uh, you know, a website that has a certain amount of authority is going to rank for that for a specific keyword, most likely, no matter what country it's in. But it could still vary one or two or three or four spots. So, and there is a way to figure out exactly where your website ranks in a specific spot. And I'm going to explain that here in just a minute. But that's the first. That's the second thing, and the main thing you need to understand um, is that you're, there's not just one standard ranking for your website, um, and you know, assigned to a particular keyword. It is different in different locations, no matter what. You can't change that. But what you can do is figure out exactly where it ranks in those locations. So you have two options here. The first option is not the best option because it's not going to show you the 100% accurate ranking. And this is the option that a lot of rank trackers use. They just basically go to that TLD. So, all right, so I'm in uh, the US. And let's say I want to know where my website ranks in the UK. So I'll go to google.co.uk. Okay, and then I'll type in my search query and find out what it says. And that's going to be a little bit more accurate than if I just went through google.com, which is the US version because this is the actual UK version of Google and the results are a little different so this is going to be closer um, if you use this you're going to you're going to see um, for the most part um, 
pretty much what people in the UK are going to see, but it's not going to be exactly the same. The only way to find out the exact ranking is to assign a I, uh, proxy to your browser and search that way. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So if you don't want to mess with the proxy thing, I understand a lot of people just don't like to mess with that. Um, it might just be too technical. A few years ago, it probably would have been for me. But it, it is pretty simple for the most part. You just need to find the proxies. That's the main thing. Um, and currently, I don't have a list of um, proxies you know, um, assigned to different countries. We will. Um, eventually but <clears throat> right now we don't but in the meantime you can just go to Google I'll go back to google.com and you know if you want like let's say UK proxies you can type in UK uh, UK proxies or German proxies or, you know whatever the, the country is um, so basically first off let me just explain quickly what a proxy is a proxy is basically if you assign a proxy to your browser um, any web traffic that go, goes through that browser, whether it's Google or any other website, is going to be um, th what's displayed is going to be what would be displayed if you were in that location. So if you find a UK proxy, a proxy that is located in the UK, then there is literally a computer in the UK that is processing those results for you. Okay, so so if you assign a UK proxy to your browser, which I'll show you how to do in just a second, and then you go to Google. Um, .co.uk and do that search whatever the search is then you are going to see the exact results of um, someone that's sitting in the UK so that's how you find the exact results of that location so yeah there is a little bit of footwork involved at first but if you have a website that you you know you know you're always going to want to know how it ranks in a specific country then you just do that you know you find it real quick and like I said you know you can just type that in and you got a bunch of results there's all kinds of proxies out there so it's not hard to find a proxy in that specific country and once you get it, it's going to look something like this. It's just an IP address and a port, okay? Um, and now let me just quickly show you how you can assign that to your browser. Now, again, I'm just showing you in Chrome. Um, it's a little different in, in you know, every browser, but most of them do support proxies. You can just Google it, and you'll figure out how to do it very quickly. So in Chrome, though, you just click the tab, the button up here, click Settings, um, scroll down, click Show Advanced Settings, scroll down again, and right here, Change Proxy Settings. Click that and let me pull this over <clears throat> now we're going to click LAN settings right here and now we're just going to plug this in so copy the IP address of the proxy and then port and I'm not sure if this proxy is in the UK or not I'm just using this as, a, as an example um, plug that in click OK and from now on all of my uh, web traffic is going through that proxy so it's just like I'm sitting in the UK so that's how you bypass the um, geographic location problem with Google search results. Um, you know, like I said, you, depending on your technical level, that may or may not be realistic, but it's pretty, you know, pretty simple. I just show you that's all you have to do. You plug in that IP in the port. You just have to get that IP and port from a proxy provider. There are public proxies that are free, so you may not even have to pay. Um, they're usually slower and not quite as reliable, but as long as they work, they work, and as long as they really are in that location, then you're good to go. Um, so just make sure that you bypass your browser. You make sure you're not logged in. You're not, you know, you don't have any history, um, and you make sure that you have an IP assigned to you know your browser that is in the location that you want to know the rankings for so that's basically it for manual and that's it that's what we do with Accurank Tracker so Accurank Tracker if you go to AccurankTracker.com or click the link below this video um, you can download and install it free of charge while it's in beta we would love to get your feedback on it it does exactly what I explained but all automated so you can just you know import all your uh, websites keywords into Accurank Tracker, minimize it, set it, and forget it, and then you know set up the schedule or have it check the rankings, uh, you know at any specific day or time, um, and then anytime you open it up, you know what your rankings are. You know it's 100% accurate because you know no matter where the country is that you want to know the ranking, you can just you know plug in a proxy um, or you may not even need to plug in a proxy if you want to know what your rankings are in the US and you're in the US then you're gonna you know it's exactly um, what it should be so we'd love to get your feedback on that and hopefully this video has cleared up some confusion thanks